Yo, check it. All right, fam, what's up? Data Zero family lock in weekly outlook and prediction. Now, I do forget to cover crypto in this overall outlook and prediction. I will be covering that on the live streams tomorrow during market hours. Now, let's go ahead and look at AMC Gaming Spy fundamentals, technicals, and news, micro and macro, and give you an outlook of what to expect for this week based off the charts, the facts, and the data. Let's not waste any more time and hop in. Let's go. All right, what is up? It is the time for the weekly outlook and prediction. Data Zero fam, lock in, let's go. This video is not financial advice. We're gonna be giving you an overall look on stocks and crypto and what we think is coming for this week based off the charts, facts, and data and sharing some news with you. This video is not financial advice. Let's go ahead and hop right in with GME technicals and show you what's going on for GME and why I think GME is set for a possible recovery and some things that we wanna look for as well as traders and investors in GME stock. So GME right now breaking out of a falling wedge. We did talk about this falling wedge last week and I did say that this falling wedge would be in play and talked about that specifically in my last videos over the last couple of days, over the last couple of weeks. Now you can see that that falling wedge is in play and we're going towards our first price target. The first price target for this particular stock is sitting at that 22.32 level. I wanna see GME hit that 22.32 level and I think that is the very least minimum price target that we're going to hit using this falling wedge. I really think that GME has a potential chance of going up to the range of about 2503 and 2593. And if we get to that level and use that level of support, you could see a push towards $30. And if we get to $30, of course, you already know if you follow this channel, that's where things could get interesting for GME because that's where GME likes to run is a major level of support and resistance. If we can use it as support, you could see a nice pop to the upside for GME. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's first see if we can break above these key levels. So the first key level we need to look for as investors and holders of GME is that 2232 level. We want to see that used as support. And I think that is the very least price target that we're going to be hitting using this falling wedge. So I think that price target is going to be in play for this week. And I do think GME is actually going to see a bullish week this week. You can see that last week was a bullish candle. We did get a green candle last week on the green uh candle print right now macd is red but that could turn around if we do start to get a recovery and we want to see gme get a recovery because red macd is one thing we want to look for here on the overall weekly time frame as the overall trend could become bearish or need to consolidate before another move up again these macro signals are something you want to pay attention to this could get flipped if we see a recovery so we want to watch this very very closely and that's why i said in the beginning of the video we're going to be looking at some other things that we want to be looking at as well as traders and investors in GME stock. Now, overall, I do think we're going to be seeing a green week and seeing a recovery based off of the price structure that I see here with the falling wedge. Also, I see here on the lower time frame, multiple bullish signals. We're not yet overbought here on the four hour time frame. You can see on the daily time frame, RSI is obviously very, very low because we had that overall big move to the downside after we hit the rejection of that $30 level, getting that push to the downside, creating this falling wedge. The overall market dumped. We got a nice recovery back to the upside on the meme stocks bouncing right back to the upside. Looking good. If you go and uh, zoom in, you can see right here on the four hour time frame, Bollinger Bands are constricted, letting us know volatility is building and you can see that we're above that blue medium line we use that as support got back above that so we are looking bullish here on the four hour time frame that could give us a push to the upside in the daily time frame you can see that the macd is starting to curl up if we could get that daily macd to flip green you can see it's almost crossing green not there quite yet but almost crossing green if we can get that to occur you'll see a lot more bullish upside for gme if we can get to that $25, $26 level, that's where things could start to get interesting. And that's where we really want to be for GME. But before we can get there, we have to use that $22.32 level as support for GameStop. Now, on this way down, GameStop filled a couple of gaps, but there is a little bit of a gap filled down here at about 1751 to about 1760. It's a very, very small gap, but that gap is still in play. Obviously, we have this major macro gap, gap to the upside at about $71. That obviously I do think is going to be filled here in the future for GME stock. I feel like meme stocks are going on to an overall uptrend, in my personal opinion, 
based off of the macro that I'm seeing here. You can see that on the monthly time frame, we do have a green monthly MACD. We're breaking out of an overfall, overall falling wedge. We are still overall above the blue medium line on the Bollinger Bands. These are all indications that we're going on to an overall uptrend for GME stock on the macro. So I do think overall we're going to be trending up and I do think we're going to be seeing a green week for GME stock as far as I am concerned. Now let's go ahead and look at some data for GME stock and some other things that we're looking at as far as liquidity is concerned and some issues and some pros and cons. Now you can see some things that I am concerned about is short interest, it's at 9.77%. This happened to AMC after AMC got diluted heavily. Um, the short interest went down. This could be because some shorts have covered after that recent rally and we do know some shorts did cover like Sitchon Research which got kicked out of the game but that doesn't mean Mean that the major short positions and the naked short positions are covered and I do not believe that is the case. I believe some of the reason we're seeing short interest drop is because of those smaller short positions covering but also because the float has gotten bigger because of that the dilution and that is also why we're seeing cost to borrow come down on GME stock as well. This happened to AMC stock where cost to borrow went very very low for a considerable period of time. Um, let's see if I can show you here on the charts. Um, after the dilution it just literally dropped off a cliff you can see here and then there was a time where it started to spike back up and when it did start to spike back up that's when we started to see price increases for AMC stock you can see here again on 513 to 516 AMC stock cost of brawl went up and you can see around that time we had that big huge move to the upside um, that 400% move around that 515 516 time if you go ahead and look at the bottom of your screen here you can see the dates and around that time we had that big move to the upside the same time cost of borrow shot up again we want to see cost of borrow go up for GME stock so that is something that is going to occur you can see that there's a ton of shorting going on so I do not think that the shorting is over I do not think that there is not a possibility of a short squeeze you want about 8 to 10 percent uh, short interest for a short squeeze GME is sitting on the lower end of that but I think short interest is going to continue back up because if you look at the volume of shorting all of these white bars it's increasing a lot so shorting is increasing the amount of volume of shorting is increasing and I think that will show up in later reports as short interest will start to increase again um, and I just believe that this is a tactic that they use to try to maybe shake some apes out of the play Well, they say well short interest is dropping shorts must have covered or something like that I see a lot of shorting volume and it is definitely increasing you can see 3.6 million short shares ready to dump on GME. So do not be fooled. They are shorting the stock every single day. Now let's look at the uh, short interest for AMC. You can see short interest for AMC increased to about 15.46%. We can also see that there's only 1.4 million shares available to short for AMC. That is a considerable amount, but cost to borrow is a little bit higher for AMC right now. We want to see cost to borrow go back up. It's at about 1.84% right now at time of recording. This could change as early as Monday morning, but we do want to see it go back up. Now some good news for AMC as well. Deadpool making over a billion in the box office in just three weeks and it is still increasing this thing is absolutely raking in money and this is going to show up in the next earnings and we did have some highlights from this earnings because amc is taking over market share fundamentally amc and gme is improving gme is sitting on a ton of cash amc's fundamentals are improving as the box office is starting to get better people are starting to notice and this is literally destroying the short thesis so these are some very good developments happening happening for AMC and GME stock as far as fundamentals and the macro is concerned when it in doubt zoom out again I think an overall uptrend is coming based off of improving bullish technicals and bullish fundamentals in the overall macro time frame now let's go ahead and hop into some technicals for AMC and show you what's going on for AMC and what we expect and I just want to show you here on uh, Monday real quick for GME what we could expect as well a little bit of consolidation then you would see a pullback and then a pop to the upside it does look like we are having a little bit of bullish consolidation which will give us that pop towards that 22 32 level and i do believe we're going to be seeing a green week for gme now as far as amc is concerned amc i think we are going to be popping back above this 502 level 502 is the major level that we need to see broken for amc stock we need to see that broken and confirmed for amc stock that is going to be the major key level now amc stock if you look at the macro a few key things is going on we are fighting to try to get above the 200 moving average here on the daily time frame you can see here on the daily time frame the 200 moving 
moving averages keep rejecting us, rejecting us, rejecting us, rejecting us. If we can get above that level, and right now the two moving average is only at 518. If we can get above that level and hold it as support, which AMC has been building support above $5 for the longest time now, we are going to see a huge move to the upside. And not only is that a huge signal to traders and investors everywhere that AMC is flipping bullish on the macro, crossing the 200 moving average on the daily time frame, but it is a key level for us to break above and use as support where you will see AMC start to become more and more bullish. AMC has been in this overall consolidation range for the same amount of time as the last time we had a big pop to the upside and consolidated. You can see that here, if we go ahead and zoom out, that took for about three months. If we go back in time in the 2021 fractal, you can see one, two, three months is how long it took to consolidate. You can see that AMC has been consolidating for one, two, three months. Now I'm not giving dates or anything like that, but around the end of August or September is when we could possibly see a move to the upside as long as we don't see AMC start to lose key levels like that four dollar level i believe if we can maintain four dollars we're going to see a push to the upside and you can see every time we come down to four dollars amc keeps getting bought up you can see that there's a huge amount of buy orders down here just waiting to buy amc i believe that this is an accumulation range in the amc debt restructuring they literally gave out shares at 601 these people are not smart they're not going to take these shares if they don't think they're going to be worth more in the future amc is improving fundamentally short thesis is getting destroyed it really makes no sense imagine being a short waiting to 2030 to see if amc is going to get banked up and continue to try to short this if the economy starts to pull back like i'm expecting which i'm going to be talking about in the overall spy section and we start to see a contraction in the economy and the overall stock market and liquidity start to dry up the the small the cap stocks the big mag, mega cap stocks that they use for short positions for amc collateral like a, apple and nvidia start to pull back you are going to see AMC make a huge volatile move to the upside. And I believe that this is an accumulation range and smart money has been accumulating. And I do think we're going to see an overall move to the upside. I do think the overall fractal is still in play from the 2021 run up. And as long as we push above that $6 level and confirm it as support, that's where we're going to see a nice push to the upside. You can see that AMC has this overall sloping resistance. Now I copied this trend line. When you copy trend lines, that's very, very important because it means it's algorithmic. So basically what I mean when I copied it, I cloned it. I just take the same trend line, cloned it, and then moved it down here. And you can see that it has multiple touch points. That is algorithmic. If we break above this overall sloping resistance here, you're going to see a major pop to the upside. And that just happens to be right around the 200 moving average on the daily time frame. AMC is poised to make a huge pop to the upside if we can break above the levels of about $5.50 to $6. And it is getting closer and closer and closer as the 200 moving average keeps trending, trending down. You can see how it's curling down that we're going to get above that and use that as support getting a pop to the upside. The first level we really want to break above for AMC is $5.02. If we can break above that and use that as support, we could start pushing towards $5.25. And then that's where things can get interesting around the 550 and six dollar mark for amc as far as what we could see for amc stock i think we're going to see an overall green week again deadpool still pulling in numbers even disney starting to do better now because things like inside out 2 are doing numbers the overall box office is flourishing right now amc also with the redex uh, debt restructuring program and sitting on cash from the dilution unfortunately it was on the back of shareholders but they are sitting on cash it's looking like we are in a good position for amc to go much further into the future and also amc is branching out taking market share and branching out doing things like the tour the paris rendezvous tour with usher doing more and more visual concerts which is very very lucrative for amc stock as we've seen with taylor swift and Beyonce. So looking very, very promising as far as fundamentals are concerned. And macro technicals, you can see that we have that monthly uh, MACD green. Same time, same thing that we had last time we had a big move to the upside. We started getting green monthly MACD. We also have key buy signals as well here on the weekly time frame. If we go ahead and go to the super trend, you guys can see that we have a key buy signal here on the weekly time frame still on the super trend. And we have green weekly MACD. AMC looking 
primed and poised to literally take off in my personal opinion after this huge amount of consolidation um, again I think this was an accumulation range and I think we're gonna see a push to the upside if we can break above those key major levels as far as what we're gonna see for this week I think we're gonna see a green week and as far as what we could see for Monday I think we're gonna see some consolidation pre-market and then finally breaking above and confirming 502 as support we might need to come down a little bit though here in the morning bouncing off of 498 or 495 as low as those ranges but I think we'll get a nice push to the upside confirming that 502 level as support this week in my personal opinion giving us a green week as we start to push to the upside with GME and the overall stock market because I do think SPY is also going to be seeing a recovery and I'm going to talk about that right now in this section but before we do that you need to understand that I don't think this recovery is going to be absolutely massive I think that it's going to be a decent recovery, and let's break down the details. I also want to go into some news on why I think the overall market is topping out, and we are going to start to see an overall contraction in the market and start to th see things top out. Now, you have um, articles saying like this, volatility is the new normal for stock markets. They're really trying to mitigate the fear and calm people down right now, but you also have the truth leaking out, and the Middle East is literally a powder keg there are threats to the market due to the middle east you can see that people are worried about that also we are in a proxy war with russia literally with basically what's going on with ukraine and we have the overall global market starting to contract with japan raising rates which is hurting the u.s dollar there are things at play that are really really getting out of control also u.s debt is getting absolutely crazy now of course election is coming up now and this is in play whether you believe it or not they do not want a market crash right before the election so they're going to try to hold this thing up until the election but it looks like that dominoes are starting to already fall down and it might not last that long now we broke down out of a major key channel here and that's huge here for the overall market you can see once we broke down out of this channel i called for an overall top and you can see that top is still in play and we did see that overall top and um, pull back to the downside um, now we do have a gap fill way up here which could eventually get filled even filled if we get a nice recovery rally but the first targets that I'm looking for for spy right now is coming up to this first gap fill at about 536 to 539 you can see that gap fill right here marked in those turquoise lines and the numbers are right here on the side I know they are a little bit jumbled um, but you can pause to try to see them but I think we're gonna get a push up to that and then pull back MACD is still very very red in the overall macro time frame you can see here on the daily time frame macd very very red um and you can see that also the downtrend is still very very much intact if i go ahead and pop on the alligator here you can see that it's starting to curl down on the weekly time frame also we have red weekly macd which is something to take note of um last time we had red weekly macd we had a major pullback to the downside um, but you can see here uh, we also have on the daily time frame alligator still confirmed to the downside um, that the downtrend is intact and it still has a ton of momentum just here on the four hour time frame it's starting to flip bullish which makes me believe that we could see a push up to this first gap fill maybe even the second gap fill all the way up here at this 562 creating an overall double top type structure but i do think we're going to see a significant bounce here from spy um, but I think that bounce is going to be short-lived, and then it's going to see a sharp push to the downside. If we did manage to get all the way up to fill that gap, I would expect a very, very sharp drop down to the downside. And I do expect bounces on the way down. I don't think this thing's just going to crash straight down because literally smart money got caught off guard when the Bank of Japan raised rates, and we had this huge jump to the downside. So basically what you would see is a recovery bounce because – big huge positions they can't just sell while the market's dumping or it would dump even crazier they need the market to go up and they also need liquidity when there's not enough liquidity because it's just selling 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 they can't sell their huge positions so they need the market to be going up to offload their positions so you're going to see those liquidity bounces as the smart money starts to rotate again out of these bigger mega cap stocks which has been holding up the market which are overvalued you can see earnings coming in from the last tech earnings seasons that earnings are 
starting to come down. I told you the valuations would start to come down. These are all the signs that I said would be the signs of the bubble popping. When you start seeing the video start pull back, when I said when I said that the earnings would start to come down because the valuations were not sustainable, you can see the video pulling back with this overall double top structure here. Again, they're rotating out of these overbought tech stocks, these overbought uh, big mega cap stocks, the MAG7, and moving into the stocks that will perform better during rate cuts. Rate cuts, I do believe, are coming. I think the Fed's a little bit late to the party as far as rate cuts are concerned. I think that the overall economy is contracting based off what we're seeing here with economic data. Um, and speaking of economic data, we're getting inflation and it looks like it might come out a little bit hot. That's something to watch out for next week. If that does come out hot, the market's absolutely going to dump. That's why I think Monday and Tuesday, you'll probably see bullishness, but Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, you'll probably start to see a pullback. A PPI is a major thing to come out as well. And that comes out on Tuesday. But the major thing you want to watch for is Wednesday inflation dropping. The forecast looks like it's going to come out a little bit higher than before but the market should expect that if it does come out any higher than these numbers you see here though expect for a big market pullback um, if inflation comes out nice then you could see a market pop to the upside but i think inflation is going to come out a little bit hot um, again it's causing worries as we're getting more and more bad economic data as unemployment is starting to move up now when they do cut the rates it's not going to be immediate pump like people are thinking normally what happens when the fed cuts rates we actually go into a recession and normally when you see unemployment spike up like it's doing right now we go into a recession i think we're it's going to see a contraction in the economy and we're going to see this overall stock market really start to pull back. Now, I do think we're going to see a green week here on SPY as far as the weekly candle is concerned. But I don't think that rally is going to be long lived. And I think that we're going to start seeing the market start to pull back. We could, again, see an overall double top structure like this. But I think the first thing we need to really worry about is seeing this first gap fill. And then we'll see some pullback after that. Monday and Tuesday, you'll probably see a little bit of bullishness, maybe even into Wednesday. But I think the later half of the week will start to see bearishness on SPY as far as I am concerned. And again, with the rotation into smaller and mid cap stocks, AMC and GME will do very, very well. If we do see some type of huge pullback in the market, I've already shown this a million times with Volkswagen, AMC and GME do have a real chance at taking off because liquidity pulling back. Also, again, they use those mega cap stocks for collateral for AMC short positions and also margin calls can occur when the market really starts to capitulate. So that is when you could see a major move to the upside like we saw with Volkswagen. Even though Volkswagen dumped to the downside originally, it pumped up to brand new highs and squeeze. And I've showed you guys a thousand times before, so I'm not going to show you that again. So seeing a market crash is actually making better conditions for a short squeeze, in my personal opinion, based off historical facts and data. But this was the weekly outlook and big prediction. If you managed to fully watch this video i truly truly appreciate it because that helps me out so much if you want to help even more you can just drop a like leave a comment and press subscribe it's a great way to help out the channel for absolutely free i also have a merch store as well you can check down link in the comment section and description below i'm rocking the merch right now and we have things for guys and girls customizable so you guys and can check that out i also stream live market open to market close most days i've been kind of dialing back but i always do my live streams and i try to do videos as well so hit that like button and subscribe for more stock and crypto updates and as always y'all have fun stay safe make money peace out all right that was the video if you found it informative go ahead and drop a like you check me out on twitter discord instagram all linked down below give me a follow if you want to help support even more we're trying to grow those numbers and as always i appreciate it if you watch the end now make sure you use that like button and subscribe and check out the live streams for even more data zero updates and as always y'all have fun stay safe make money Peace out. Check out the merch store.